Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about another human food that's safe for hamsters that you may not have considered feeding them, and that food is baby food. It's sloppy, it's gross, it comes in all kinds of flavours, but your hamsters will absolutely love this stuff, plus bonus points it's actually really healthy for them. Now obviously I'm not saying it's healthy to feed as your hamster's sole diet, but it does make a great healthy supplement and it can also make just a nice healthy treat. Hamsters that will benefit the most from having baby food in their diet are those that are sick, those that are pregnant or nursing, and elderly hamsters such as our dear old Potassium, who is quickly approaching his second birthday and is a very frail old man. Now there are a couple of things you will want to take into consideration before picking of baby food, the main one being the ingredients. Now most ingredients included in baby food will be perfectly fine, however there are a couple of things to watch out for. Ingredients you'll want to avoid include pork, leek, onion, any kinds of spices and of course chocolate. If you're looking for a baby food to supplement the diet of an elderly, nursing or sick hamster, I would recommend going for something that includes both meat and vegetables. The current food I'm using in Potassium's diet is by the brand Heinz and it's mum's own chicken with garden veggies, which contains carrot, potato, spinach, rice, chicken, water, sunflower oil and iron sulfate. Another very similar food that I've used in the past and that my hamsters enjoy just as much as this one is the Cowan Gates Grandpa's Sunday Lunch and the ingredients for that are pretty similar. Of course you don't have to use the same brands as I use, the brand name really doesn't matter that much, it's all about what's inside the food so make sure you check the ingredients before you buy. If you're looking for a baby food to just feed as a treat to your hamster then you could use a meat or vegetable one or you could use a fruity one. For example the current treat baby food I have is Nestle's Gerber apple flavoured baby food and this is just made of mashed up apples. To give the baby food to your hamster you can either give them a small blob of it on a little plate or in a treat dish or you can give it to them on the end of a spoon and this can be a really fun bonding process for the both of you. The exact amount you give will vary from hamster to hamster, there's not going to be a perfect measurement that I can give you, but certainly start with a smaller amount, see how your hamster does with it, make sure that you check their feces within the 24 hours following feeding any new treats just to make sure they're not having an allergic reaction to it and if they're fine with that then you can feed them a little bit more. How frequently you feed your hamsters baby food also depends on the individual hamster and the individual situation and the reasons for why you're feeding it. For example, with potassium, I give him his supplementary baby food about four or five times a week and I give him a fairly large portion of it, but it really, really helps with his particular health issues and helps to keep his weight up. But with iodine, who I only feed baby food to as a treat, she will get it about two to three times a week and she gets a significantly smaller portion. And one last little tip I will give you guys, unless you have a whole horse of hamsters, make sure you buy the smallest jar because this stuff does not keep for very long, you don't want to be wasting it. You do have to store it in the fridge once it's been opened before then you can store it in the cupboard, but like I said it doesn't last a really long time so if you've only got one or two hamsters buy the smallest tin you can. Anyway that's the basics that you need to know about baby food and hamsters, if you've never tried it before I definitely recommend it and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, you can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!